this is this is absolutely something coming from the universe you are a queen of swords that's in the upright and you will have ultimate fulfillment in life you're someone very uh very confident very good at communication very intellectual and things like that i'm telling you this queen of pentacles is being rejected she may be even being put out of an institution or a home someone may be letting her go this could be a love situation as well maybe there's a king of swords with a queen of pentacles that is just not who it is he thought she was maybe she was misrepresenting herself or maybe the relationship is just not fulfilling anymore so he's choosing to let her go and say hey you know we've been going through this cycle for a long time this is someone that tries to be diplomatic he said, we've been going through this cycle for a long time. I'm not happy. I don't want to pretend to be happy anymore. Uh, there's something where maybe she's even calling him, texting him, maybe saying that I don't, I don't understand what's going, what's going to happen to us. Um, what's going on with us, something of that nature. Like this man is ready to kind of just let go. He does not want to be in this karmic cycle with this woman because it's not leading to anything. Um, I don't know if like this is just someone that shows up as a queen of pentacles because she's single or I don't know what this is, but it's like they're not even showing up as a match. It is a queen of pentacles and a king of swords. They're not even showing up as a match. It's not a match. So there's something where she's being pulled out of a, a home or an institution. This could be something where this is a woman that was uh, working in an institution in a very high position or something like that. And she may have been abusing her power in that position. And she's being let go because someone has been causing a lot of uh, uh, chaos, a lot of calm, uh, 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 karmic. Uh, uh, I don't know what this is. Just a lot of chaos because of her. Because this is someone very vain, very greedy, very superficial, very heartless, does not care who it is, whose toes she's stepping on to get what it is that she wants. This woman is like the opposite of an actual queen of pentacles. She don't care about nobody, nobody at all. This king of swords is someone that's been loyal to this woman for a long time. And she betrayed him in some way, shape, or form. And she, or I mean, he is finding out the hard way that this is not someone he can trust. So he's discontinuing his relationship with her. It's a lot of different scenarios I'm seeing. There's one way I'm seeing is that this could be a, a relationship between a king of a queen of pentacles and a king of swords that's coming to an end. And this could be a woman, like a CEO, a vice president or something like that. Someone in a, a in a business, in an institution that's being let go. It's like, hey, you know, you've been with us for a long time but we don't have any choice but to let you go this is the end of our of our journey together and this is why she's possibly also trapped in her mind because she knows she's about to be pulled out and this is what we predicted for this woman i've been saying this for a long time on my channel warning this woman poverty is the road that lies ahead if you don't believe me go back in the readings you will see me telling this woman multiple times Poverty is the road that lies ahead. You're about to be out here weighed down and burdened. You need to hold back, cut your losses, and move on. But someone was very determined to do something or have something go her way because she's always been what? Successful with destroying other people's future. There's something where it's like this woman may have told some type of lie and said that you collective was living out in the in uh, the cold, like you were homeless or you weren't working, you were living in poverty, you were a thief, you were manipulative, you were conniving, you were this, you were that, but the whole time she was projecting onto you so that people could hate you, people could reject you, was trying to isolate you because someone is in a competition with you that you're not even aware of. And if you were aware of the competition, you wouldn't even participate because this is a waste of time. We all have our destinies. When you have to compete for something to this length, that means that it's not meant for you. You're trying to force it. So there could be an institution that's seeing the truth about this and they are letting her go because someone has been doing too much behind the scenes and they may even be embarrassed uh, to have her be a part of this institution because there's something where it's like she's crossed the line. Someone may even have like legal issues coming in, like getting sued and things like that. But this, uh, um, this king of swords, 
he knows and he's been watching this could be like a pi also this would be like a, 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 a fbi agent police officer or someone that's been watching and keeping track of everything she's not able to defeat you she may be disappointed because what she's not able to defeat you she's not able to steal something from you this is what she's been plotting the whole time she was trying to manifest someone being able to steal and block something for you lied about you get you cut up like sneak you or something and i told you this man is refusing this offer he said he does not want to he don't want to steal from you he does not want to defeat you he don't think lowly of you as she wants him to think lowly of you this is like everybody in a community finally waking up and seeing things for what what it is and you still have someone stuck on stupid trying to get people to see something where they said no 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 you know what? That's not a flower vase. That's a wrecking ball. It said, what the heck are you talking about? That's not an amethyst crystal. That's an obsidian crystal. What the heck are you talking about? This is what she's trying to do. This is like one of those people, they'll be pissing on you and tell you it's rain. It's like, no, 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 no. I know it smells a little bit like sodium. It have a bit, bit of a foul taste to, I mean, uh, not taste, a smell to it. But it's not what you think it is. It's rain. Is that what? Since when has rain smelled this disgusting? Ma'am. Now why and, and then why is my skin all dry and ashy when it dries on there? Why is it flicking when it dries? Come on now. Telling you the God's honest truth. This man is moving away. <coughs> Someone has truth and clarity now. But what? Uh, 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 um, King of Cups has been doing behind the scenes this whole time, causing towers, lying, and there's a queen, King of Cups. This it's like there's a King of Cups that has been causing towers in the life of a, a King of Wands, and I don't know what this is, but there could be like a King of Wands that's gonna be communicating with like a queen, King of Pentacles to let him know that a King of Cups has been lying about something. Like the the truth, like the answers are unfolding, folding. Everything is coming out. So whatever this woman has been doing behind the scenes, I don't know if she hired the King of Wands to pretend to be something he's not. It's just like she knowing two people are supposed to come together and she said, Hey, I'll hire you, I'll pay you if you pretend to be this person. I'll do this and I'll do that. It's been a whole lot of lies going on. They may have been lying about another King of Cups. It's a whole lot going on, but all the truth is coming out. I'm telling you, the truth coming out is helping people move on. Okay, people may be coming towards a King of Cups to ask him a lot of questions. They say, hey, why did you tell us this person was like this when they're not? Why did you tell us that they are naive, they're dumb, they're, dumb, they're stupid, they're incompetent when they're not? Why did you tell us you, this person did this to you? Like someone has been lying above and like someone has committed themselves to some type of lie and they've told one lie after another after another. This is someone that tells one lie to cover another lie. Okay, and then they tell one lie to cover another lie. They don't tell so many lies. They don't even remember the lies they told. And now people are going to be asking questions and they can't remember what it is they said. They're about to be saying all kinds of different things. And people are going to be like, nah, that ain't what you told me, brother. You told me something else. Man, I can't even be associated with you anymore. I thought you were good people. Apparently you're not. Been doing nothing, but I'm telling you, this is the whole truth. Been doing doing nothing for causing manipulations and people are having some type of epiphany, okay? About a higher fan as well that's going through some type of loss and stalemates. Like he, I don't know if someone thought they were going to have some type of brand new passionate beginning. This is someone delusional. There's a higher fan out here. He did a whole lot behind the scenes, right? And then he says, well, I'm going to have a new beginning somewhere else. And the universe is like, I think not. Nah, 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 nah. We are holding you accountable for what it is you've been doing. So we're, we're exposing it. You don't just get to like whoops your way into a new beginning after you don't cause destruction in someone else's life. And then you can just pretend like everything is okay. Nah, we're all held accountable for our deeds. We all got to pay our karma. I'm telling you, he's been doing a lot of lying out here. Someone may be even into rituals. And I don't know if he knows he's into rituals. Someone has been tampering with justice. And he will be going through karma, right? There's something that he's going through. Some, type, some act of God. Because the tower is literally the hand of God. 
interceding in a situation to make sure the truth is out. People see it for what it is. You can't hide it anymore. So all your sneaky behaviors and things like that is exposed. He's been exposed as a narcissist. There's a higher fan out here that's going to be or is being exposed as a narcissist and he cannot hide it. Maybe living in fear because people are going to see the truth about everything he was doing to weigh someone down or cause a lot of burdens when it comes to who someone was. And now he's living in fear. Going, I'm telling you, he's going through endings. He thought he had invested in something or was going to have some type of new beginning. It's a disappointment. And this man is under judgment. This is a higher fan under judgment. And guess what? The five of cups came out again right after him, followed by the two of swords. He thought he was going to have this new beginning. It's a no. No, 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 sir. He said, yeah, I'm going to go out. I'm going to move away, get a new job, you know, put on a new persona. No one's going to know whatever I did. I don't know who this is. The universe said, oh, really? Uh, maybe. Uh, we'll get back to you on that. We'll get back to you on that. You think you're just about to whoops your way into a super and what balance things out for yourself. Act like you don't know what, what it is you did. You're just going to close out this chapter. No, 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 no. Someone is going to tell the truth about what it is you've been doing this. There could be a higher fan that's been out here living as a bachelor. Whole time he got a whole wife at home. Lord have mercy. Whole time he got a whole wife at home, but living that bachelorette lifestyle. I'm telling you, it. this is not a lie. There's a higher fin out here. Could be a priest, a bishop, pastor, whoever this is. Been out here living recklessly. Got a whole wife at home and then got his little side. Oh, that was his secret. Lord have mercy. I am done. I, if, who, who can you trust if the man of God cannot be trusted? Who can you trust? Who do you love? He said, oh, I love my side. That man said he loves his side piece. His side piece. That's who he be giving to. And he gave to her faithfully. That man be spoiling that woman. So it could be something where they're not in a happy marriage. Yeah, this is a higher film. This is his secrets coming out. Maybe he's in a marriage he's not happy in. And, you know, he got him a little side piece on the side and things like that. And he's choosing to go with the side piece. He said, she makes me happy. You make me happy. Yeah. That man said, ain't no sunshine when she's gone. I be living in fear and anxiety until I see her again. And then when she's leave again, I'm in fear just to sit in there wondering, when's my side piece coming back? Oh, I'm going to her tower. I need my side piece. And then she communicates with him. And he said, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> And then on the other end, there's another higher fan that's going through some type of awakening, listening to his intuition, uh, embracing his spiritual side. You got two higher fans in here. This one is embracing his spiritual side. He's very intellectual, very straightforward, direct, very clever man, right? What he's doing now is combining spirituality and religion together. Man, a brilliant brother. I'm telling you, a brilliant brother. The other one, mm, sir, 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 sir. This is a whole higher fin out here that pretends to be an emperor because it's nothing but illusions. There's a higher fin that's been causing illusions to a king of pentacles that he's been working. Mm, baby, it's a higher fin out here. Okay, that's been working with an emperor that's part of a karmic community to cause illusions, right? To a king of pentacles and by someone's work. They've been collaborating behind the scenes to keep someone living in fear and to prevent him from taking charge of his life to give an offer to someone. They may have even been lying to a freaking king of wands. Oh my gosh. To block him from communicating and from giving to someone that he does want to what? Move forward with in victory, in love, everything. Like this man wants to talk to you. But he's trapped in some type of relationship that he wants to walk away from trying to find the strength so that he can have this wish fulfillment with you. Someone may be healing behind closed doors before he can come towards you and have this ten of pentacles, which is going to balance things out. You two may like raise a family together. It's going to be something very solid, 
uh, committal. He's working on his discipline in life, working on his character, and this is helping him defeat uh, these people. Lord have mercy. But this man is way down behind the scenes. He may have done something. He has some type of confession to make. Someone may have tempered with you behind the scenes, may have uh, like uh, uh, betray you, hinder you, hurt you, something like that. But he wants to maybe confess to you before he can give you this word. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, and have you living in a beautiful uh, energy. I don't know if this is like a bunch of masculines that are interested in you or something. But he's ashamed and crying a lot behind the scenes because of what he invested in. Okay? But he really does want to have a new beginning with you. And he's putting in the work to heal. This is what he wants you to know so that you two can have this ultimate fulfillment together. And he's working really hard to take action to come towards you. There's something where it's like a man is going to be like, in, he's stuck in his mind a lot. He's worried about you rejecting him. And if you reject him, it's going to lead to a lot of heartbreak for him. He feels that it's going to be the end of his world if you reject him. But there's going to be something where it's like one day he's just going to wake up and come in and be like, hey, ma'am, I want to talk to you. Or he may call you, text you, email you, DM you, be like, hey, can I talk to you? Can I meet with you? Can we go out for lunch? I want to talk to you. Maybe clarify some things to you about what really happened. Maybe you don't know what happened behind the scenes. You ain't paying attention because a lot of empresses and high priestesses be in their own little world, just minding their business and say, yeah, I see, I see what you're doing, but you know, I'm going to stay over here because I don't self master myself and I don't got time. I don't got time, but you want to talk. Okay, let's talk. Anyways, this is someone that's mastering themselves because they're seeing things from a higher perspective, right? Someone's very, uh, uh, like, innovative, very creative. Like, this is someone who's a thinker, and whatever it is he's doing or whatever offer it is he wants to give you is going to lead to something very beneficial for the both of you. You may end up being in the public eye together. You do have a connection with this person this could be someone that's very genuine sees you as a match and things like that like you have a lot of options behind the scenes that you are not aware of and they do want to work with you but you got to be careful who you give your uh time and energy to because there are people in here trying to defeat you okay you have people in here it may even be like the exes of these people trying to what they are determined to block Stop this offer from coming in that's going to lead to fulfillment. They said, nah, we got to dead that situation. They cannot come together. I'm telling you. They said, we got to dead that situation. We're going we're gonna to keep causing illusions so that what one of them can take a different path so that we can have a victory. Yo, we ain't having a victory. This empress is going to have this fresh start, move on with their life, and what? Stay committed. They're going to be ending up more than likely with a king of pentacles they've never met before. And this is someone that he's probably even in his mind to say, hey, does she, I don't know if she has someone else in her life. I don't know if, you know, I can give, is she going to see me as a match? Is she going to receive an offer from me, accept an offer from me? Like he's worried now. There are two king of pentacles you need to be aware of. One you've never met before, uh, but he's aware of you. I picked up on a man that's very, like, very, like, his stature. This man is massive, but very handsome, very good looking, um, upright, okay? Somewhat of high moral character, solid as a rock. Um, there's something he's going through. I don't want to put too much of his business out there. That someone is going through some type of heartbreak, like someone betrayed him. He may be coming out of a relationship with a narcissist or something, but he's going through some type of healing. But whoever this is, I saw this could be the higher fin that I saw that's in the upright, you know, balancing his life out. But someone is very massive, very massive, but very handsome guy. Um, and does try his best to live in the upright. Of course, everybody makes mistakes and things like that, but this is someone that actually tries, okay? Um, this is like a slow moving energy because he just came out of heartbreak, so it may take a while before he approaches you because he wants to make sure that, you know, he's closed out that chapter before he starts a new one. Um, so just be in the note about that. You do have two King of Pentacles. One is in the reverse and one is in the upright. The one that in the, that's in the reverse, he's burning behind the scenes because he don't find out that you're in the upright, that's, that you're someone sturdy, someone committal, and things like that. And he did something, right, to block some type of 
uh, offer, some type of commitment from coming towards you. And this was going to be something that was wish fulfillment for you. They put an end to that. So now he, he may be planning to come towards you. Honey, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. He said he want to start over brand new with the, with you. He wants to heal things with you. He want to give to you. But baby, this man don't cause you a whole lot of loss that you may not be aware of. So, and it has a lot to do with your dreams, your aspirations. Someone was determined to destroy you. He said, you don't want to be with me. I'm going to destroy everything in your life until you accept me. He said, no, that's not how it works, brother. What you're doing right now is crying out for help, but you're crying out for help in the wrong way. This is going to come back to hunt you in the behind, okay? And then you have some like an ex, a king of cups, probably from your past, or this could be someone you had some type of contract with that's out here determined, right, to hinder justice. He said, no, 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 no. She can't have a new beginning. I'm going to keep doing rituals to keep her living in fear so that people don't give her any offer. Baby, you're getting them offers. Oh, you're about to have a whole lot of options out here. And he's going to sit down. The universe is petty like myself here. I said the universe and the will of fortune came out. The universe is going to give this man a front row seat so he can watch you. Elevate in life because that's and he's gonna be burdened. Maybe he's gonna have that front row seat to see you go through that. Dun, da, 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 the bride has arrived, dun, da, 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 the groom has arrived. But to see you happy, living, fulfilled in life and everything. Okay, I told people you were what toxic, but this is the truth about you right here. You are someone modest, very strong, with a lot of tenacity moving forward in your life. Right, they didn't want people seeing you as an option. That is that's come to an end. They said, Hey, 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 you may not see them as an option, but there is definitely is an option for us. But the whole time he's saying or she is saying that you're not an option, baby, they're pressed about you, pressed, and they want to come in quickly and offer you some type of marriage proposal. You're looking at them like, Oh, my ancestor said no. My ancestors said we're allergic to your kind now. Your lineage, our lineage cannot mingle together anymore. Okay? Okay. Okay? Okay. You stay over there. Don't come over here anymore. If you do it again, my ancestors are going to tear your behind up. Okay, sir? Okay. <laughs> yeah, they're going to tear that little behind up. You better sit your narcissistic behind down. Okay? Okay. <laughs> he said he's determined. He's going to keep speaking Telling a whole lot of lies so nobody comes in to give you a commitment. Nobody sees you as someone that's worth a commitment. People know the truth, baby. People know the truth. They know the truth. He's looking like a clown. He got problems coming in. Your ex got a pro got problems coming in. He's going to have to move on. I'm telling you. Going to have to move on. You got people out here trying to block you from being able to move on. People trying to block you from healing, ascending. They said, nah, we can't let her heal anymore. We can't let him heal anymore. We got to weigh them down. Block them from moving forward. Block them from having a family. Block them from having options. Block the Ten of Pentacles. Have them living in despair. No marriage, no family, no nothing. Not investing in anything. No new beginnings. No options overall. No fulfillment. We don't want them living in their truth. We don't want them self-mastering themselves. All they can have is what? Blockages and stalemates. And the universe is saying, oh, no, no, no. They got options. All of this is done. That's what I didn't see. It said all these rituals you're doing. Someone did a, a, a ritual recently. I don't know if we had a full moon, new moon. Honey, I don't keep keep track of the moon cycle because I don't need to. I'm not a dark witch. I don't got to do all those, those rituals and things like that, sending energy, negative energies to people. That's a waste of time because the energy is coming right back to you sooner or later. It don't matter. <laughs> Whether it's today, tomorrow, a year from now, it's coming back. Uh, someone recently did a ritual could have been the queen of wands out there with the queen of pentacles. They did a ritual and it backfired horribly. Backfired horribly. There could have been someone's wife involved in it as well. It backfired horribly. So if there's a woman you all see that's walking around looking a hot mess, looking like she's in distress, it's because she did a moon ritual that backfired horribly and she's, oh, it was her. <laughs> Dang, it was the queen of wands. She's still toxic and karmic behind the scenes. She's still telling lies. 
she's still feeling rejected. There's a higher thing that's rejecting her. This is a whole emperor. She lied to, been lying to, wanting him to see her as wish fulfillment, as the twin flame, give her some type of offer. She's not destined to receive. This woman is karmic. This woman is karmic. They are karmic. They may have gotten together to do some type of ritual and the ritual backfire horribly. And now they are here looking at Twitter D, Twitter Dumb. There may be a Twitter Dumber behind the scenes. There could have been a Queen of Cups that's choosing to distance herself from these people. She's like, I don't want to be part of this anymore. Like, you don't compromise my well-being or something like that, baby. We, we don't care what it is you all have going, going on. She could have had like a Queen of Cups friends. They don't. She don't want to be friends with her anymore. She, don't, she said, why would you do that? Why would you do that? I trusted you. Yeah, you can't trust her. This is a liar. Been lying to you the whole friendship. Probably betraying you the whole friendship as well. And you didn't know it. You had to find out the hard way. You had to find out. You had to find out. Sooner or later, everything in the dark comes out to the light. A sister is still here with secrets. Don't worry, baby. She's trapped. She's trapped. This is all this woman do. Ain't nothing light about her. All she does is black magic to, do, to get everything in life. She got to manipulate, she got to steal, got to spread her legs, everything. Now, y'all know, I'm, baby, I be in my queen of swords energy. When you come on this channel, I'm going to say it like it is. I don't say it to offend people, but I'm going to say what it is I have to say. All this sister does is black magic. All she does is manipulate, all she does is lie, all she does is steal. Some of me have stolen from, from a masculine that she was with. Um, all she does is spread why. Both ways. Anybody can get it. As long as she can get something out of you. At this point, there's some type of addition this woman is dealing with. Needs a lot of help. All she does is, baby, I, I can't. That's too much. That is too much. But she's trapped. Someone is being hunted. Something backfired horribly to back to her. It's that she thought, she said, this is it. This is it. This is going to take her out. This is going to take him out. It's going to shut them up. And that person's ancestor was watching her the whole time. They said, oh, want to bet? You want to bet? Do you want to bet? And she went out and did that ritual. They said, right back. I had a dream of someone doing some type of ritual. They were trying to end, unalive someone in a dream. The bullet came out of the gun and it went right back to that person. That could have been her. She had some type of mental imbalance, by the way. This is what they don't, she, she's not telling people. There's a woman out here with a mental imbalance. It's a queen of pentacles with a mental imbalance. And all they do is rituals behind the scenes to get what it is they want in life. And you're both about to lose everything. Someone, this queen of wands here is being hunted. Her life is in chaos. This could be the one that's walking around looking a hot mess. <sighs> Looking like she 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 been uh, uh lost in the wilderness <laughs> for two weeks or something. Her soul don't left her body. Her soul said, "Oh, I can't do this anymore. This is too much misery. This is too much misery. We've been incarnating time and time again, and she's not getting any better. Someone may be going back to the spirit realm if they're not careful." Mm -mm -mm. A sister thought she was going to come in, give you some type of apology so you could be left out in the cold. People would see that she was mature. She came in and did the right thing. She was the bigger person. She said she was sorry. And then someone was going to give her an offer and she was going to defeat you. Take what it is that is yours and be able to move on and keep doing her black magic. Spirit said, girl, we don't got time for this nonsense. You need to sit your raggedy behind down somewhere. We don't touch you time and time again. You are not part of this person's lineage. You cannot have their abundance. Someone is trying to destiny swipe. Basically what this is, because this woman feels that you're not worthy of your destiny. These, this one as well, she's part of some type of institution, been pretending to be something she's not, pretending to be gifted, pretending to be business savvy, not any of the above. Not Honey, I could go into this woman, but honey, we're going to leave you out for now. Someone's trying to destiny swipe with you. They say, you know what? I'm better at magic. I'm a better witch. No one's out here trying to be a witch. That's where you effed up royally. I got better skills than her. I've been doing this for a long time. Nobody cares about all of that. This is your intentions and things like that. It's so simple. 
but yet people don't get it. It's complicated. Okay, so she's out here trying to compete with your with, compete with you for your destiny. But what this is is like into this, right? Imagine a doctor going to school for what seven or ten years. He don't put in all that effort to learn. Okay, earn his uh his license. And then you have someone that's been cheating, taking shortcuts and things like that on the job. In school, they took a shortcut, never really studied, maybe even cheated most of the time, taking from other people and things like that to get where it is they are. Okay? So because they didn't get there genuinely, they feel like they got to be what? A tyrant so that they can keep a hold of whatever this is that she had. Okay? So now she comes across you. You are the truth. You actually put in the work. You do study. You do do the work. You're doing the self-reflection and healing, self-actualizing and thinking and things like that like you're supposed to. So you actually know what it is you're doing. And she's intimidated by you. So before you can even get to your destination, which is this institution or this position or get this is a pentacles offer, she goes on a smear campaign she's gonna pay people bribe people this is what they're doing behind the scenes to people she's gonna pay people bribe people to reject you right reject you before you even arrive at this institution so that what they can feel like you don't know what you're doing you're not worthy to be around them you're not worthy of the uh, uh the position right like you're incompetent everything you're unstable but the whole time she's stealing from you, stealing your material, studying everything you're doing, taking notes and everything. And initially the people around her, they said, wow, Maria has really made a turn. She's actually contributing. It sounds like she actually knows what it is she's doing. And then somebody finally finds out, oh, Maria don't, still don't know nothing. She's out here stealing from someone. Something like that, but she's still trying to force it. This woman don't pay a lot of people behind the scenes to either block two people from coming together or to block someone from receiving some type of offer in life. And everything is out. I keep hearing the answers unfold, unfolding. The answers are unfolding. Like the secrets are coming out. She can't hide it, hide it anymore. So I don't know what she's about to do. Whatever she's about to do, the people say they don't care as long as she leaves this institution. So we don't, we don't, we're not in need of your services anymore. This relationship is not working out if this is a relationship he said you know what we've been trying to make this work for a long time i can't do it anymore dear sweetheart you gotta go this is the end of the road for us it's something like that it's something like that <laughs> so she may want to come towards you now she's been put out of this institution she may want to come towards you now just give you a piece of her mind baby don't try it sit down because, baby, when we get to a certain age, our bones don't be healing. I keep telling you the same thing over and over. Our bones don't be healing like they're supposed to. The wounds don't be healing and things like that as quick as they used to. So you come around someone, you see that that, that page of swords right there got her sword pulled out. Mm. Then got a freaking uh, a king of swords above her. Baby, you, you doing the wrong thing. You're busting the wrong move because you're going to be hurt, hurt out here. Laying on a stretcher in the hospital, somewhere in the morgue. Unable to recover, talking about I falling and I can't get up. You won't be getting up at all. <gasps> the only getting up you're gonna be doing is them picking you off the floor, off the ground, and putting you on that stretcher. Is it dun 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 dun? We will be having Maria's funeral in two days. Stay where you are. Stop picking fights. Stop stealing destiny. Stop pretending to be what you're not. If if you, you, listen, we're all on a healing journey. And we're all at different stages. What matters is the effort you put in there. I come on, out on here. I come on here, tell you all what it is I think, give you what it is I know. But I myself, I'm still going through a healing journey. There are still things that I don't have a straightforward understanding of. There are still things that I haven't healed from completely. And I'm working on those. The only difference is I don't run from mine. I face them head on. I face people head on. I'm not about to BS you. Whatever I say about you behind your back, you best believe that's what I'm going to say in front of you. So if I think you are creep behind the behind the scenes, guess what? You are creep when you come up, when you show up. Say, oh, I heard what you said. I was a creep. I said it. Yeah. I, I, yeah. You are creep. You, you were stalking. Yeah. You are creep. You are creep. Now what? Now what? Are you going to stop being a creep? Are you actually going to, you know, show up and talk to me, have a conversation instead of stalking me? Look at that. Look at that. 
I heard you said this about me. If I said it, oh, yeah, I did. I did. I said it. Now what? Okay. And maybe my little straightforwardness is something I got to work on, but my ancestors didn't tell me that yet. So until they tell me, it is what it is. Anyways, this sister here, some someone is trapped in something she did. Some type of spell work she did, reach what she did. Baby, it on backfire. It's stuck on her like it was white on rice. Someone may have summoned a demonic entity that's following her around. Or this is someone's ancestor playing Russian roulette with her. Just toying with her. Say, now you see us. Now you're done. Now you see us. Now you're done. You see that, people. <gasps> Sister is burning behind the scenes. She thinks she's going to die. Baby, I don't know. He's looking real dark, dark below you. You're refusing to heal. you out here gaslighting people, playing with people. Seem like you about to leave a whole institution to go give a disingenuous friendship to someone that already knows what it is you're about. Listen to that again. You're about to leave a whole institution or your comfort or your life or something, wherever you're leaving, to go give some type of disingenuous friendship or apology to someone that knows everything you're about. They know you ain't worth a dime. Your apology ain't worth a dime. I'm sure you're worth a dime, but you just don't know it yet. So you're out here being low vibrational. But whoever you're coming to with this nonsense, your little friendship, they don't want it. Stay where you are. You keep coming up wanting to reconcile with someone. But I got to go in and reconcile with her and tell her I'm sorry so her ancestors can stop haunting me. My life has fallen apart. I'm losing everything. I want him to know that I am comedo. I don't sleep around. Girl, you got to live in your truth. If you're out here giving a pack back to everybody, live in the truth. Live in your truth. Own up to it. <laughs> I don't want him to think that I do black magic. You do. You do. You surely, surely do. It's 100%. You do black magic. You do black magic. You've been doing black magic your whole life. Your little queen of cups friends, they need to ask her. She'll tell the truth if she want to be 100. Whoever this woman is, and you all know who she is, if you know who she is, she has a queen of cups friends. Friend, ask her, does she be doing uh, uh, black magic? Is she into witchcraft? And if that sister is being 100 with you, she'll tell you, yep. She goes to practitioners to do witch witchcrafts, send negative energy to people, doing death spells, beauty spells. Is this the kind of woman that walks around talking about, I'm more beautiful than you, girl? Nobody cares. Beauty is in the hand, in the eye of the beholder. This That's all there is to her, her beauty, nothing else. Everything else she gets is through magic, like magic. And all she does is play mind games with people. And there's a masculine in her life. She's been playing him like a tuba. A sister is crafty with words. It's what I'm hearing. Mentally unstable, emotionally unstable, psychologically unstable. But baby, she's good with manipulating with words. Words, 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 words. She said, why did both of them? Why don't you want to steal from her? Why don't you want to steal from me? Why don't you want to sneak them? This is what's the, what we agreed on. Please, 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 please. I need you to please do this for me. And that King of Swords is like, girl, I don't told you I don't want to work with you. Like, I know what it is you're doing. You've been lying the whole time. You've been lying. Been lying the whole time. Mm -mm. He said, no, nah, I'm not betraying this woman. I'm not betraying the Queen of Wands. Not this one, not the dark one. You collective. This man said he ain't betraying you or he's not ending you. He's not offing you. You didn't do nothing to him that's worthy of you being taken out because this is what they want him to do. He could be a practitioner. He's not trying to end you, like on a live you and things like that. So now that he's not going to do it, they want to come in. She wants to come in to give you a friendship. So she can seem like she has healed. She's mature now, girl. Please stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Anyways, thank you all for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in my next read. Goodbye for now.